Hi, it's Judith from JV Art Resources, and thanks for watching today. I'm doing a quick review on uh, two books. Actually, uh, the first one is on Aliona Nicholson's Color Pencil Painting Bible. It's um, about techniques on how to achieve luminous, beautiful, realistic colored pencil, and some of it is just amazing. You can see right here on the cover, um, some of these effects are fabulous. And in this book, um, it really goes over um, all the different things, some of the basic steps and how to lay down a solid foundation, mastering your essentials, creating texture, and then there's practices with still life. And um, in the beginning, as in many books, it gives you some of the essential materials. Here is some of her um, beautiful flowers here. Um, they're just gorgeous, really. Everything she does um, is just so unique. It's She's not like any other artist, and you can learn so much from her. And uh, this book is wonderful. I highly recommend it for anybody's uh, bookshelf. Um, and again, like I said, there are some basics here. It talks about paper, different types, types of finishes, the pencils, uh, gives you a little history on each one, odorless mineral spirits, and um, just different types of tools and things that you might need. Um, some uh, tack and tape and electric racers and um, then there's just different things about creating um, a color catalog and uh, it's just endless really there's just um, lines and shapes and then she just talks about all different things it really teaches you value and um, where to put textures and uh, it's a great book um, here's some pearls. There's some different exercises in here. So if you are not aware of this book or have this book, I would highly recommend it um, for any colored pencil artist. Now this book came out in 2009. Since then, Aliona has been very busy creating um, her new book called Colored Pencil Painting Portraits. And if you look at this book, it is a kind of mind-blowing. When you look at this uh, rendering on the cover, and think of this as a colored painting, a colored pencil painting. Um, it's just unreal, and her work is beyond anything I've ever seen. Now, this book um, is really advanced. This is, if you're a beginner, um, you probably will not be able to really use this book unless you're a beginner and you've worked on some portraits. If you've done portraits, then you should be able to go through this book without too much trouble. But if you're a beginner and you've not done a portrait, that is not the easiest way to start. However, there are techniques in this book and different supplies that are used in this book on portraits that you can use with everyday colored pencil drawing. Um, the different um, items that are offered in in the colored pencil painting kit are um, there's an advanced colored pencil texture fixative and then a final fixative there's a uh, blending powder uh, which is really wonderful and um, a white titanium powder now this book which I will go through um, in a minute to show you some of the things that are in here right now comes with um, while supplies last this little package this is really neat you get a little sample of some ampersand uh, pastel board there is a, a couple of sheets in here of some sanded paper uh, which is used with her um, powder blender and you do get samples of that as well you get um, a little package of powdered blender right in here and I'm sorry this is the titanium white but you get one just like this with powdered blender also right here and this is colored pencil powder blender sample and it'll explain to you how to go about using that there's even a few pencils in here of different brands um, right here so this is a really neat little kit um, you get this free with the book and it gives you a, a way to try out the items before you purchase them and um, you know you can't get the fixative of course um, and that's a really great product so you may want to pick some of that up if you can but um, the book is fabulous and I'm going to just show you a couple of things right here um, uh, there is some things in the beginning uh, that are similar to some books but really uh, most things in here are different than you will see in any other book um, Again, here is some more of Eliona's work, which is uh, unbelievable. Um, there's talking about um, oil painting and how oil, oil paint used to be the main type of artwork that people would do to create high-end artwork. And um, over the years, it can crack. And um, colored pencil does not do that. 
Now, here's something that I really like. Uh, there's micrographs of uh, different kinds of pencils, what they look like underneath a microscope um, and how they work on a paper with tooth. So it kind of helps you understand a little bit more what's happening. Um, there are some other uh, great topics in here. There's um, Aliona. This is a really an uh, education. This book is like a class. I'm telling you the things that you learn in here. Um, here is a, a section on perspective. And then talking about some of um, the old time artists again and some drawings. And then she talks about underpainting, blending methods, and uh, just working with the colored pencil medium. Uh, here's another comparison of you know some colored pencil. And then as you go through the book, there's different uh, talks about underpainting for different skin tones. And then I, I especially like this portion here. Um, it's different uh, examples of how to do, um, here's different features like eyes. And um, different, um, here's Asian eyes, Caucasian eyes. And then over here we have um, lips. Um, men's lips, women's lips. So it's really great to um, learn how to do underpaintings and glazes. And here's um, some noses. And now here we go with some hands. And there's another um, another example of all those things put together on this drawing. And ears. Yep. This is just giving you a little idea of what's in the book. Um, it talks about working on different surfaces, about the fixatives and the titanium white and the powder blender and how they're used, and more exercises. Um, here's one that I'm actually uh, working on, this one right here, of this uh, beautiful little red-headed girl. I just started sketching this one out. And then in the back of the book, um, what I really like as well, is there's um, some observations. There's a couple of charts. Um, and it goes by the colored pencils and their performance with different surfaces. And um, right here, blending ability with various types of solvents, with the various types of surfaces. So this is uh, really very uh, invaluable information. And uh, there's quite a few pages of it. I'm just trying to give you a little taste of the whole book here. But um, there's Aliona again. So... Um, it's definitely something worth picking up and like I said if you are a true beginner you may want to get a little bit of um, some drawings under your belt first but if you're interested in doing portraits then um, you would really like this book and if you're interested in the powdered blender techniques and the white titanium powder and just using some of the other fixatives then you would be interested in this book as well I highly recommend it either now or when you get a few more paintings under your belt so that's it thanks for listening today and I hope you found this useful and um, take care I'll see you next time and have a great day